Welcome in to another session, another an, another presentation by Brother Morley McLemore. I will be presenting to you a presentation, a sermonette titled, Turn to God with the Word. Turn to God with the Word. Audience, have you ever heard someone tell you that words are powerful? Hosea, the book of Hosea chapter 14, verse 1 to 4. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. Return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord and say to unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So we will render the calves of our lips. Asher shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. Ye are gods. For in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. I will heal their backslidings. I will love them freely. For my anger is turned away from him. John, the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and, and the Word was God. The Word of God is powerful. I'm so glad the pastor said, study to, to show thyself a pro. I'm so glad I know the Word. I believe the most powerful thing on earth is the Word of God. Yes, I do. The word of God is more powerful than a two-edged sword. Saints, we need to spend some time reading and familiarizing ourselves with God's words in his holy scriptures so we can turn to God with his word. We can all turn to God with his word and present ourselves in his presence as like unto living sacrifices like unto calves on the altar in this modern day and with the fruit of our lips with the fruit of our lips we can worship God the backsliders can return and turn to God with his word God is married to the backsliders. Let us turn to God with the words of repentance. Let us re repent and escape the wrath that is to come. With just a turn. Let us turn to, to the God of Abraham and turn to no other idol God in the land. For God is a jealous God. Take words with you in return to the Lord. In returning to the Lord, Israel must come on God's terms, not their own. God says, when you return to me, take, take words with you. I want you to Turn to me and not with a solid, silent feeling in your heart, but with proper words of repentance and trust in me. When we come before the Lord, it is essential to take words with you. There is a place for sharing the inarticulate feelings of the heart with God, but that is not the essence of fellowship and prayer with him. The worship of God is intelligent and God made us able to communicate ideas and feelings with words. It isn't enough to sit before the Lord and feel love towards him. Instead, take words with you. Tell God that you love him. 
it isn't it isn't enough to feel repentance before the Lord. Instead, take words with you and tell God that you repent before him. This is the same idea that Paul expressed in Romans chapter 10, verse 8 through 10. But what does it say? The word is near you. In your mouth and in your heart. That if you confess with, with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. God commands us, God commands us to communicate with him in words, not only ideas or feelings. What words do we take with us? The best words are the words God gives us in his word. When we communicate to God in the words and ideas of scripture, we find an articulate and effective voice before God. Take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously. When we return to the Lord, taking words with us, we must first come humbly. We recognize our sin and our total dependence on the grace of God. For we will offer the sacrifices of our lips, literally. Hosea chapter 14 verse 2 says we will offer the calves, the calves of our lips. Since bull calves were often brought for sacrifice in Old Testament, the translators felt justified in putting it for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. However, the more literal rending, rendering shows us Shows just how plainly our words of praise, worship, confession, petition, or intercession can be a sacrifice before God. A serious should not save us. We will not ride on horses, nor will we say any more to the work of our hands, you are God's. When we return to the Lord, taking words with us, we are. We come renouncing our dependence on all other things. We recognize that the, the, the Lord and the Lord alone can make the difference in our lives. In our life. For in you, the Father, let's find mercy. When we return to the Lord, taking words with us. We come declaring his greatness. We tell of what a great and merciful God we have. I will heal their backslidings. God saw that Israel was bent on backsliding from him. But he promised to heal the backsliding of a repentant Israel. He did it not because Israel would deserve would deserve it, but because in nature in his nature to love them freely. The word compassionate. The word is compassionate. I will heal their backslidings. This shows God looks on our backslidings more like a disease than a crime. He does, he does not say I will pardon their backslidings. It is though he said my poor people I do remember that they are but dust and they are liable to thousands of temptations through the fall and they soon go astray. But I will not treat them as though they were, were rebels. I will look upon them as patients and they shall look upon me as a physician. The word is certain. I will heal their backslidings. Not I might heal 
or I could heal or I, or I can try to heal, but I will heal their backslidings. Come to, the, come to God for healing of our backslidings and he will do it. God is too great a physician to allow any patient to leave his office without being healed. The word is personal. I will heal their backslidings. He speaks to his people and addresses them personally. We have to come to the great physician and say, heal my backslidings. I want to be there. To get healing, you have to count yourself among backsliders. We can turn to God with the words we can turn to God with words by turning back to the work of the ministry. We should turn to God by not letting go of the plow in God's vineyard. Jesus Christ himself spoke the word in his days. In the Gospels, we see the faith of the centurion soldier who recognized Jesus Christ's authority. Then asked the authority Jesus Christ to speak and say a word of healing and his servant that was sick and paralyzed shall be healed. Then Jesus spoke and that servant was healed in that moment. We too as followers of Jesus Christ have authority to, authority to speak the word and pray for people and do ministry because we have authority now. Because we are followers and saints with, 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 with God. And we are part of the body of Christ. I mean, we have authority. The ecclesia with the power, with the power invested in us as a part of a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a royal priesthood, of a peculiar people, we have authority. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places above and not beneath, ahead and not behind. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two as short, piercing even to the dividing asunder in soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. That's my message for today. I hope uh, you are encouraged by this message. Continue, continue to speak God's word, body of Christ. Uh, when you're in prayer, just engage, uh, produce some faith, uh, produce faith, put faith out there. When you're putting your words out there, you're producing faith. Maintain faith by uh, uh, the, uh, the faith. Um, faith is the word of God in action. That was uh, the book I read from my uh, shepherd and Bishop, Bishop James E. Holloway. Under his section uh, in definition of faith, faith is the word. Faith of faith is the word of God in action. So when we're producing faith, we are putting words out there in the atmosphere. We sending the word up. We putting the word in the atmosphere. We we, we 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 are reconnecting to God with with the word. Uh, we're generating faith. Praise the Lord. We're generating faith daily. Uh, as intercessors, as the intercessors arise, as the intercessors are being raised among young people in old, praise the Lord. Uh, we, we are, we are, uh, we're turning to God with, with his word. We're learning the word. We're studying the short, short self approval. We're, we're, we, we are reading daily. We are reading the word of God. We are reading the word of God, studying the word of God, familiarizing ourselves with the word. So we can know his word. Praise the Lord. That's my message. Uh, continue to make intercession. Household of faith. Stand in the gap. Make up the hedge for the household of faith. Put the word of God up there. Uh, re remind God of his word. Uh, the word the word, the word, of God is powerful. So that's my message. So uh, um. If there's anyone who wants a relationship with Jesus Christ, you can re repeat this prayer with me. You can confess with your mouth the word of God.
Christ the Lord, re re repeat this prayer with me. I believe Jesus Christ came to die for my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you died for my sins. Praise the Lord. I repent for my sins. Walk with me, God. Walk with me from now on. I receive you as my Christ, my King, my God and Savior. I look to you who is the author and finisher of my faith. Uh, show me how to study your word. Give me understanding of your word. Show me how to... Uh, Turn, I turn back to you with, 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 with the word daily, renouncing every familiar spirit, generational curse with, with the word of God, and it shall be done for me. And, and it, is, it, it is done for you. Praise the Lord. That's my message.